News on the street, 919 FM and online Facebook and YouTube. In the headlines, government assessing the impact of Russia-Ukraine war on TNT. A woman is shot and killed when two bandits storm West, Mooring, West Mooring's house. Bandits also shot and killed. Leaders urged to put aside politics and come together to fight escalating crime. And internationally, protesters around the world rally in support of Ukraine. And now the news in detail. Two suspected bandits are dead after a shootout at a home in West Moorings this morning. According to reports, two men entered a yard at Cherry Crescent at around 8 a.m. and residents called the police for assistance. Police said the homeowner, a licensed firearm user, confronted the men and during a shootout, the two intruders were killed. Police said a woman who lived at the home was also shot. She was taken to the St. James Medical Center where she died while being treated. The government and the opposition are being urged to work together to solve crime in the national interest. The call comes from Navan Maharaj, President General of the All Trinidad General Workers Trade Union and leader of the political arm of the union, the National Solidarity Assembly. Maharaj said a collaborative approach among the country's leaders is what's needed, particularly given the current crime situation. The union leader issued a call for an extraordinary sitting of parliament to address the recent crime. He urged for a joint and unified effort by the PNM and the UNC with discussion rather than debate to arrive at immediate short-term, medium-term and long-term solutions to our crime situation. Maharaj said politics have no place in the fight in crime and called for unity. Trade Minister Paula Gopi Schoon says research on the list of items imported from Russia is now being compiled as the Russian war on Ukraine escalates to frightening proportions. Gopi Schoon is expected to release further information as the situation unfolds. Meanwhile, Agriculture Minister Clarence Rambarat said that it was too early to assess the impact the war will have on TNT. He said, however, that government must put a plan in place immediately to address food security in the face of Russia's attack on Ukraine. For import-dependent countries like TNT, an international crisis especially associated with our major trade partners, the U.S. and China, can have deep repercussions for the TNT local economy. Internationally, shortly after news broke of the Russian attack against Ukraine, demonstrators gathered outside Russian embassies and other landmarks, spots, in many parts of the world. People waved yellow-blue Ukrainian flags and chanted pro-Ukraine slogans at the rallies on Thursday. Many of the demonstrators, including Ukrainian expats, held a banner saying Ukraine will resist and say no to Putin. The Ukrainian president compared Russia's invasion of the country to military campaigns carried out by Nazi Germany during World War II. He said Russia has attacked Ukraine in a cowardly and suicidal way, during which he called on Ukrainians to go out and protest against this war. And that was the 4 o'clock news on the streets, 919 FM and online Facebook and YouTube. Recapping the headlines, government assessing the impact of Russia-Ukraine war on TNT. A woman is shot and killed when two bandits stormed West Mooring's house. Bandits also shot and killed. Leaders urged to put aside politics and come together to fight escalating crime. And internationally, protesters around the world rally in support of Ukraine. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. Miss Aisha Wells, the Queen of Talk, she's up next and she's already in the building. Keep it locked.
919FM.com. Actually, all the time that's a baby, I'm not let to 